Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Good Company, a corporate machinery simulator, which, in these times, might be a little bit grim. So we're gonna have robots, for obvious reasons. Or do we wanna have... Ooh. What do we think? Robots? Or the devil? I like the robot. The robot's cute. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see. Mm. It's not quite the Wonderbot colors, but I guess it's okay. And we are going to be... We're just going to be bot corp. Bot core. Uh, let's go back to this one. It really needs to be an orange. It just needs to be like... It's like a red or orange. Eh, I guess that's kind of okay. Unfortunately, because they have the exact same, like... Oh, that's better. That's much better. Sort of? Sort of better. Whatever. It's good enough. Except, Bot Corp. Okay, so, Character Customizer. I can customize my character! Perfect! Um... Can I go back? There are better names than Bot Corp. But whatever, it's fine. So we are going to be... Gonna be head grump. So you can be Are they randomly generated? No. Well I like this man. He's top heavy. That's that's a good Oh, do we want a little robot named Artemis? Yes. And you are going to be um So we're gonna have uh He's just going to be leg day. Do not skip leg day. You will hurt yourself. Alright, what kind of hair are we looking? Hard hats. These. No. Let's go crazy, crazy man hair. Ooh. I'm liking the aviators. This guy... This guy knows how to party. And may or may not just be... <laughs> uh, Colonel Sanders selling you some fried chicken. But that's okay. Upper parts. We gotta have something with a turtleneck going on. Alright, so what are we thinking? That or that? No, I like that. Alright. I don't know how to fix the... Let's see, bell-bottom jeans? No, we, we want whatever it is... That accentuates... Why do I have... Phantom ankles? I don't know, but I'm going with it. Okay, gloves. Hell yeah. I don't have a choice. Do we want boots? No, of course we don't. No boots. Ooh, ooh, curled up, t uh, curled up shoes. Yeah. All right. So what is our hair color going to be? Ooh, a nice wine purple. And what is our skin color going to be? This is a man that is a raisin <laughs> inside and out clothes. Oh, that's straight up just kind of faux Wanderbot colors. I feel like I should go with that. Alright. I like this man. He knows what he wants in life, and it and that is grape juice. Nothing but. Uh, let's see. Can we can we change any of this stuff? Edit. Hey, okay. So we had we had some better we had some better names. Maybe. Let's just go with hench bots. There we go. And I am the head grump. Life is good. So, campaign. After many years away, you're back in good country. Proud home of tinkers and tycoons. Upon your return, you discover that ruthless global corporations have 
brought the local industry to its knees. Now your fellow citizens are in need of jobs and someone to offer them a brighter future. Man, that's topical. You've been hired by the Federal Bureau of Industries to get the local economy back on track. Their consultant will contact you shortly. This feels like 2022. The simulator already. I'm dig I dig it. Okay. Your dad's garage is just as you remember it. The scent of motor oil, burnt hair, and fancy cologne tickles your nose. This is the ideal location to start your new company. The folks at the Federal Bureau of Industries are pinning their hopes on you to revive local business. Don't let them down. Sell calculators, produce at least six Mark II calculators, and 12 per week. Cool. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Carrie... Go oh, it's a woman. I'm Carrie Goldfield, business consultant. It's good to have you back in good country. A local economy is doing terribly. I hope you can change that. I'll assist you as much as I can. Before you get started, remember that you can review things we discussed today by clicking the progress bar below. And if you ever get stuck, you can learn more in your Tycoon's manual. Let's begin. Running a good company depends on many factors. Let's work our way up from the basics by crafting something to sell. To craft things yourself, you need to have the required materials in your inventory while you're using Workplace. If you don't have the materials in stock, you can order them by using the incoming zone. I hear there's decent money to be made by selling single-cell batteries. To craft this module, you need chemicals. I've already placed the order to get you started. Take the chemicals to the tinker table and set it to the single-cell battery module res recipe. Your first goal is to craft at least two single-cell batteries. I feel like all of these games kind of want to just be Game Dev Simulator, but they lack the intrinsic... Oh, I'm in control. They lack the intrinsic s smoothness? Oh, well, it's fine. Okay, so I just am going to be making batteries. Start crafting. I do appreciate that I actually control what's going on. Though the idea of crafting these in my own home is a little concerning. Like, you really feel like you'd want a, a proper setup for this, not just your garage. Very good. Can you see the new outgoing zone next to your garage gate? Every Monday morning, a truck will pick up everything you've placed there and sell it for you. So, let's make some money. Your next goal is to place at least two single-cell batteries in the outgoing zone so you can get so they can get sold. Ah, uh, what day is it? Oh, it's Tuesday. Well, it's going to be a while before Monday rolls around, so let's make as many of these batteries as we can and just offload them. So it looks like our weekly profit is minus 400. I like the visual style for this. This reminds me of the Little Big Workshop game I played uh, a couple months ago that I r rather dug. I just realized I don't think I've... No, I have changed the stream title. Perfect. It takes a little bit of time. Uh, do we have a speed up? We do. Holy shit, how long does it take me to make these batteries? It's already Friday. Whoo, boy. Splendid. I'm glad the F Federal Bureau of Industries hired you. Let's continue. Give me a second. I have to go back to making silly amounts of batteries. Manual crafting 10. Okay, there we go. The recipe for simple cases is now available. You can switch recipes at the tinker table and see which materials are required. Remember, in order to order what you need from the uh, remember to order what you need from the incoming zone. The next goal is to craft two simple cases. Go for it. So they require plastic. Okay. I guess let's stop that for the time being. So we want to get plastic. I'm getting a lot more deliveries than I am personally capable of crafting here, which is a little concerning. Yeah, most small businesses start in ways that OSHA would frown upon, safety-wise. Yeah, but making batteries seems like one of the most concerning one, considering... Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Okay. So I need plastic. Oh, cool. I can just shift-click. Now, does my character get better at this? Obviously, Milestone is Tinker 2, but that doesn't actually seem like a character skill level. I'm assuming 
you kind of peek. Uh, let's see. So right click, money received, goods sold on the market. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's an immediate character skill bar or anything like that. Well done. Well, I value your hands-on commitment. We need to free you up to focus on other important areas. Finish this last one. Okay. And that's where your workforce comes in. Let me show you how to delegate tasks and hire employees to do them. Keep in mind the workplace an employee is supposed to use needs to be set to the required recipe. Switch to the logistics mode. This lets you choose where materials are taken from and where crafted items are then stored. Bing, drag a connection from the incoming zone to the tinker table. Next, drag from the tinker table and connect it to the outgoing zone. With this connection, your crafted items will be taken, taken straight, to the, straight to be sold. Hire your first employee, open up the personnel panel, and click the hire employees button. Take your pick from the prospective employees there, then assire, assign your new hire to the tinker table. You can officially call yourself a boss. Have your employees craft two modules for you now. Do we know, is there a difference between any of these people? What are their qualifications? Why would I hire one of them over others? I guess... I guess it's time to be pointlessly discriminatory towards everyone and hire the cheapest person, I, I guess? I, I seriously do not know if there's any, any difference here. Why do they all have glasses? Why do they all have white-rimmed glasses? Or look like FBI agents? Okay. So it looks like... Eh... No. I was gonna say the ones that have the most expensive up front have the cheapest per day. But that's not it. It seems like it's just kind of random. Alright, we're gonna hire the FBI agent. Okay, so we want to do logistics. Okay. <laughs> well, so can I can I buy anything or I'm assuming I'm I'm kind of stuck until they let me build more things. Well, whatever. I guess I'll just sit here. I like their I like their work animation. Excuse me, I'm working. I'm working, can't you see I'm busy? Okay. <laughs> like <laughs> I don't even Outstanding. Let's start scaling up your production, shall we? You have plenty of space left in here. Check your construction panel. You can now place additional tinker tables. They cost you money to build, so keep an eye on your finances. I'd say you could use two more tinker tables, wouldn't you? Let's see. Guess I'll put them there. Okay. Well, it certainly looks more cozy in here. Let's continue. The recipe for LED arrays is now available. You can switch recipes in the tinker table and see which materials are required. Remember to order what you need from the incoming zone. Go ahead and have two LED arrays crafted using one of your new tinker tables. By the way, whenever you feel like helping out your staff, you can jump in and get your hands dirty. All right. So first and foremost, we're going to hire some employees. I only want to hire people that look like FBI agents. Uh, maybe. I like this guy's hair, so we're hiring him. Workplace is... That one. Okay, um... So what are you going to be working on? LED arrays. Needs electronic parts. Okay, let's do logistics from here and to here, except for personnel is in the way. 
Stupid UI. All right. Let's do here. Oh, but there's no. All right. Well, I'm going to close out of this for a second. Go back over here. Oh. We need to make this be batteries. Alright. And what other pseudo FBI related looking people do we have? Oh, hello. Slatna. You are the. You're a pretty FBI looking person. And you work on that. Alright. Now everybody's working. Come work with me here. Great work! This is getting exciting! I think you're ready for the real deal, assembling products. The assembly table is now available. I've provided you with a simple blueprint, uh, product blueprint, a calculator. Construct an assembly table and set it to the calculator blueprint. The calculator consists of three modules already available to you. Make sure all tinker tables are set to craft one of the three required modules. Battery, case, LED array. You cannot connect two tables directly with each other. Crafting employees can only pick up and put into inventories like small shelving racks. In our case, it would make sense to connect the outputs of all tinker tables with a single small shelving rack. Use, use the logistics mode, just like before, and drag connections between the modules crafted the tinker tables and a small shelving rack. Then connect the small shelving rack with the assembly table. Finally, assign an employee for it to begin, uh, or select an employee to begin. All right, assemble calculator. Okay, so we got a tinker table, small shelving rack. <sighs> How do we even want to do this? I guess first and foremost, can I move? There we go. Okay, so we want to do... Small shelving rack, and we want to do basic crafting, ticker table, assembly table. I'll figure out the proper way to organize a number of these things later. We can also do decorations, carpet. This man looks like he... He deserves some... Zebra carpet. We should probably also make some money, because apparently the zebra carpet was 2,000 gold! It was made out of real zebra! It was made out of real zebra! Alright, whatever. I'll just wait until I'm not dead broke before I spend any more money. It's still Friday. This is bad. It's okay. There'll be... Pro money will be coming soon. What if it was poached zebra? There's no such thing as poached zebras, as zebras deserve anything and everything that ever happens to them. Zebras are dicks. They are horrible creatures. They're like horses that hate everything. We have 26 days left to get out of bankruptcy, all because of the goddamn zebra carpet. Whoops. Well, now I'm going to have to just sit around for a little while. As I spent all of my money. I can't even hire another person. Let's see, where's my current cash amount? Give me a second. I should probably... Uh, you guys can't see that. I'm not used to this whole face cam thing. And I also, whenever I load up a new game, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, why are we just losing madcap money here? Hmm. I think I actually screwed myself over. No, we're... we're actually just in the red.
Probably we didn't have enough. Wait, hold up. What is going on? Oh. Okay. All because of goddamn carpet. <laughs> Damn it. Um, I wonder if one of the reasons why I was dead broke... How do I move the goddamn camera? Oh, it's because I'm working. That's that's why it ain't work moving. Duh. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just zoom out and plonk this down. So let's take a look at our income. So the main issue is just we we have to make sure operating costs aren't aren't terrible. We can move that over. Uh we probably have enough. So let's hire one more cheap employee. Let's go logistics. Oh right, because I have to, I have to pick, pick the recipe. Calculator. Oh, wait for a bit. I guess the other thing I could do. Is start assembly on that calculator. Where are you guys going? Oh no. Please stop that. How do I. How do I. Drag to create connections, but how do I uncreate a connection? Ah, right click to remove all connections. Okay, so I've I've gotta remove all of these. So close all of this. It's a bit fiddly. Okay. So now they're going. Then they go here, and that goes there. Finally. Okay, so now I'm going to sell the calculator, and hopefully this will work. And then I will- then I will hire a cheap- cheap goon to do the rest of this for me. Because I am lazy, and me helping is kind of awkward. Because I don't know the exact proportions. Okay, cheap goon. Hire one more employee. Who is the cheapest? Dexter Demir. You are the chief calculator guy for reasons. Alright, now let's hope we don't go broke as a result of all of this. I'm not important, and back with important news. We're happy to report that this CEO knows how to turn things around. Alright, well, we might as well keep going. Produce at least six, mark two cal calculators, and then twelve per week. And decided to challenge yourself and truly break into the market. That's the spirit. Calculators are fine, but we can make them better. A blueprint for an enhanced calculator has just been unlocked. Let's see if we can produce six, mark two calculators. I think I'm just going to wait until I actually have money. Holy crap, the calculators make cash, though. Uh, how much are they worth? I actually have no clue. Uh, 
What's a Mark II require? Mark II requires a different type of battery. Okay, seriously. How much are these... How do you see the value proposition on a calculator? It doesn't say. Ah! Uh, I broke it. Again. How did I break it? There we go. So I broke that singular connection. Wow, that's okay. I got it. So I broke it when I changed it to the Mark II calculator. That is fiddly. I understand why it works and how it's supposed to work, but... Sell it, you... What? The fact that I can break it just by being like, Oh yeah, what's this other recipe? And the answer is like, We don't understand anymore! Oh, it's the devil's work! And you're like, uh, what? What? Huh? What? Okay. I think we're gonna err on the side of mild... I'm not gonna say caution, but... I'm just gonna work on these. So we're gonna need LED arrays, simple cases, and battery... battery stacks. Battery stack requires chemicals, plastic, and metal. Okay. Let's get a couple more of those. Get another cheap employee. Who is the cheapest? Bryce Anderson. Okay, and Catherine Evans. Oh, right. Oh, can... Because that doesn't need batteries. Okay. Right. That should be okay. I think it's mainly just lack of supply. Yeah, so we just have to... We just have to wait. financially. We're doing okay financially. This poor guy really cannot deal with the... There's no sharing here. Alright, let's just get another tinker table. We don't really have to worry about space efficiency, which is kind of nice. Uh... Oh, right. I have to set the recipe before it... it'll even consider letting me ho hook the whole thing up. Okay, so we need more electronic parts, which are, of course, very expensive. Hire employee. We want to get Gus DuPont. Company is low in, running low on funds. That's fine. Okay, so... Doesn't look like we've got any immediate limitations here. I think our biggest issue is just going to be the fact that limited travel times are going to mess us up. Because having having to walk even partway there is going to be rough. Alright, whatever. Okay. 
Clearly, our ambitions are hard to tame. Let's raise the bar even higher. Try hitting a production goal of 12 calculators per week. For this objective, you need to use two assembly tables. Increase the bandwidth of your logistics connections in order to fit more items in a given area. Go on, this should be easy as pie. Ahem, sorry. Okay, so we need another tinker table. Go over to this one. Uh, it's... No highlight for that one. Okay, so we want to do that, which is going to require more plastic. More plastic. Okay, next up, we're changing gears. You are going to work on battery stacks. Which means we need more plastic metal. I'm just going to order some extra. Hire employees. Okay, who's the cheapest one we can shuck? Greg! Greg Merrick. Your job is to work. Uh, what's your issue? Okay, so I think the problem is that character was carrying a box of chemicals at the t at that exact moment and therefore could not figure out how to get plastic or or is it a logistics issue? That's dumb. So even though it was connected it was only connected for that one exact type. So it's not that I had to tell the table where the stuff went. I had to, because it required new connections, I had to reconnect them. Now what are you doing? Where are you going? Okay. I get it. I get why it is the way it is. But that's... Oh, that's fiddly. That's... When you're fiddlier than Factorio, you might want to simplify a little bit. Wait, what's up with you? No, you're making Calculator Mark twos. And then we have to reconnect it. Okay, now he knows. There we go. I swear I changed that. I guess it didn't. Alright, so... Missing logistics connections. Which part? Oh. The output part. Wow. I mean, it makes sense. It's just... Oh... Okay. Well, at least we're not going broke this time. Which means, you guys know what time it is. Freaking zebra carpet time for random people. You get a zebra carpet. 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 And I'm broke, but whatever. We're going into debt for this. A good day for good companies? More in the news. Despite the circumstances, this enterprise managed to prevail. Cool. Well, we've completed all of the objectives, which means it is time to go dead broke by buying a silly amount of zebra carpets. How can one man zebra so hard? The answer is it will not let me spend any more money. Can I dig myself out of this hole? Who knows? Who knows? Let us wait and see and cry as our funds are terrible. <laughs> Probably 
profit margin. Minus 92%. <laughs> <laughs> What is your issue? What is this? What does this mean? Target inventory is full. What? What? What do you mean it's full? And I only have six products there? But we we're supposed to go up to 12 before. Is he just going to stand there? Oh, that's weird. All right, whatever. Let's go back to map. We're done. Hey, so they <laughs> I made the business and then I drove them into the hole, but that's okay. We don't we don't actually care. 